for for that area, that's that, that's pretty good size. So well, that's good. Hopefully, that just means they're having uh, they're having uh, you know better growth. Yeah. Bella. Bella, come here. Well, that's good. It's Come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. Hi, pumpkin. Really? Psst. Bella. Even even while you were out of the car? Huh, that's kind of surprising. I'm wondering. She's trying to put my sock on now. <laughs> yeah. Baby girl. Really? See, I wonder if they do supplemental feeding up there during the winter to help them. Because that meets um, the Game and Fish or Ella. a local environmental agency or something will do what they call supplemental feeding, which is where they will come in and drop food for them. To, if, because if, it's, if there's been a lot of snow or stuff like that, there's... Uh, Sometimes there's not enough for them to, you know, to keep up a healthy, uh, a healthy diet. So they will, they'll come in and sleep. Well, it, it looks like it was in the middle of the day, right? Yeah. So they're probably, unless, Hi, unless they do that, unless they do the supplemental Hi. feeding. And which would make them more accustomed to people. Um, probably. Hey, look here. Yay! Yeah, no, you can archery hunt there. Art. No, Dad, you can archery hunt. In, you can archery hunt in downtown Phoenix if you want. It's legal. Yeah, it's legal. Yeah, I mean, like if if behind your house right now, if there was a stretch of woods. I could sit on your back wall and hunt if I, legally if I wanted to. It, um, yeah, oh, that's actually it's one of the, uh, one of the big, biggest, I, I want to say, turnouts for, uh, as far as what a lot of people are doing and have a really good success with, you know, large deer. Because these bigger deer get get into the towns and they start living. Okay, so now you get to see her walking. In the